All right, what's up guys? Andy with Andy's Auto Care Plus. In this video, I'm going to be discussing the Mighty Light 8070, I believe the name of it is. And is it still relevant, 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 relevant? In today's um, industry and in today's methods of detailing, and is it really the best um, carpet extractor as many people say it is? Um, so I have had this machine now for almost five years. That's crazy, right? So a little bit about what I have done to this machine. I have replaced the hose. This is my third hose that I'm on. This is my third tip that I'm working on. Um, I replaced it with one of those clear tips and that thing was a piece of junk. It broke so fast. The valves in it broke. It was ridiculous. So this one I actually got from my local PNS distributor. It's a aluminum and has a see-through piece here. Uh, way more stout than the unit that comes with it. Um, I, honestly, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to find this online, but if I can, I'll link it below. This has been a huge, huge plus for me. I've also replaced the pump unit in it. I have not had to replace the heating unit in it. Um, I've cleaned it out obviously multiple times, ran cleaners through it. Um, but all in all, fantastic machine. I have replaced that little cap down there. I have that in a different video if you'd like to check it out. It's, uh, it's in my list of videos. Um, anyway, we're gonna go ahead and use it a little bit. It's already kind of been heating up for a little while. I always also run extractor fluid by PNS through the machine when I'm filling it up. I don't know if that has anything to do with the longevity or not, but I always run that carpet extractor shampoo in it. So I'm gonna go ahead and do these carpets over here. They've already been prepped with my drill brush and carpet bomber. Um, and we're just gonna use it for a little while and that way you guys can see that it still works fantastic.
Okay, there we kind of have it. That was just a quick extraction of these floor mats. These are very, very beat up floor mats, as you can tell. Couple key things, uh, takeaways. I don't think anything can kind of replace an extractor um, when it comes to it. I know I've done a comparison video of an extractor versus what you hear in the background, which is a steamer. Um, and ultimately there's different places for both of them, I believe. I don't use the extractor as much as I used to um, because it just doesn't do the same as what a steamer does. And usually we can get the thing, through things a lot quicker with a steam cleaner, um, but sometimes you just really need an extractor. Uh, this tip that I was just talking about, the one that I currently have, that one does not get as much water out as that clear tip that I used to use. It was the other parts of that clear tip that I didn't like. Um, this one just leaves them a little wetter, but now that I'm in a shop, it's no real big deal. We, cut, we try to do it first, get them hung up on the wall, let them dry, and then we'll go about the rest of the car. So anyway, if you are in the market, I would highly, highly suggest investing the money into a Mighty Light. Um, like I said, I've had it for almost five years now. Very little maintenance, very low maintenance. Yes, I've had to replace some things, but that's that's the nature of the beast. The machine itself is solid and the parts are not that expensive and fairly easy to work on. So anyway, thank you guys all for watching. I appreciate you all. Make sure you are subscribed and give me a thumbs up in the video. Comment down below what extractor you use. Um, if you are a big fan of the Mighty Light or if there's another one that you would rather prefer, type it down in the comments and let's have a conversation. Um, anyway, thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one. Peace.